Today I'm going to be reviewing about two sunscreens I've tried out so far and what's my take on them. There are a lot of sunscreen in the market but these two I have bought them and tried them and this is what I have to say. So if you're looking for a sunscreen that you can use or you're looking for a good reviews for sunscreen or a bad reviews for sunscreen that you might want to use and be able to make your choice then this video is for you. <music> My name is Alma, you're welcome to my channel today. On this channel, we do reviews on skincare products, both good and bad reviews. We talk about it. We share simple DIYs on how to improve your skin generally, and we talk about different things, different other th things. As long as skincare is concerned, we talk about it. So, if this is the kind of content you're looking for on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, like this video, and share. This is just the way to support me to grow more. And to my old subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sticking with your girl. Now, let's go into the video of today. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about two different sunblocks or sun protector that I have tried, I have used, and here is what I have to say about them. The first one I'm going to be talking about is Gavia Sunblock, Gavia Sunblock SPF 60. And the second one I'm going to be talking about is um, Russian, Russian brand quality sunblock. Russian brand. These two sunblocks, I've tried it. And I'm going to drop my honest reviews on these two sunblocks and also tell you what I find interesting and what I do not like about two of them so that it can help you make your own choice. So I will start with Gavia sunblock. I will start with Gavia Sunblock Brightening Cream. Actually, there are two types in the market. You see just Gavia Sunblock uh, Cream. Then this one is the Brightening Cream. Then I'm going to try it out to check for the white cast test. To see if this product leaves a white cast. Then I'm going to also tell you what my experience with this product is. So first of all, let me just read what the manufacturers wrote about it. They said, Gavia Sunblock Brightening Cream has SPF 60, excellent sun protection, brightening and lightening effects, excellent protection against radiation, UVA and UVB, and it has vitamin C. I guess um, this vitamin C is what makes, makes it a brightening cream because vitamin C brightens the skin. And it's also water re resistance. That means you can use it when swimming and you know under the water okay so um coming to the uh, direction they said apply gavia sunblock on cleansed face and every morning about 30 minutes before exposure to this uh, uh, to light so ap apply before you leave the house so now let me try so i'm going to shake it because most of them do separate from the uh, separate, you see the water different and you see the content different. Now let's try this to see if it will leave a white cast. How to, you know, normal how to measure the quantity that you want to apply. Actually, this doesn't leave a white cast on my face, but I'm going to do a test. So that you can see what to expect when buying it. So I'm going to rub it in. Just rub it in. Rub it in. <laughs> You know, when you start applying these things, it starts behaving as, as in discouraging you. It starts discouraging you. Well, let's trust the process to see if it will leave a white cast on my face. So, let's trust the process. It's like it's melting in. Melting in is melting in. 
let's see the result sorry if this video is going to be long but i wanted us to do a practical result so you know what you're expecting trust the process we don't want our face looking like casper casper the friendly ghost when we go out so we need to take time blend this in you see so you drop in the comments if you think it's blending in or not if you think it's blending in or not so i don't want to tell you it's blending in then when you buy it yours will be a white cast so tell me do you think it's blending in what do you think what do you think do you think it's blending in or did it leave a white cast on my face so this is doing after i have tried so hard to blend it and i think you shouldn't apply it close to your head because apart from my hair the one on my skin blended in it didn't leave a white cast blended in the one on my eyebrows trying to bring out the one on my eyebrows so the one on my eyebrows so voila this gavia does not leave white cast on the face it does not leave white cast on the face this is the outcome on my face no white cast and generously applied and no white cast so it has melted into my skin and it didn't leave any white cast on my skin you can see apart from these ones on my hair i think you should prevent it from touching your hair but my face there is no single white cast so gavia is okay but the only thing about this gavia is that the only disadvantage i will tell you about gavia is that it has a lot of oil in it because i've applied it now and it has penetrated into my skin but after a while now it will start making me sweat it will start making me sweat that means it has a lot of oil in it apart from the oil this product is good it's a good uh, sunblock and also a good moisturizer and brightener because it has vitamin c in it. so no single white cast my face is good and i'm good to go so now i'm going to be wiping off the product from my face guys i'm using my face to do practical for you so the least you could do for me is to hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification so that you'll be getting my videos whenever i drop my videos show your support share my videos so that most people can watch my videos I share a lot of tips on this channel this is just one of them so i'm wiping off the gavia from my face i don't want it to be on my face so that i can try out the next product let's see if it will pass the white cast test and i will tell you what i also like about that other product but i'll also tell you the disadvantages of that product actually the one i'm using now is gavia i tried the other product I liked it but though but, but let's see so that you know whether i'm right or wrong so i've cleaned off the gavia from my face now let's dive into the other product so i've thoroughly wiped off my face so i paused the video to wipe my face thoroughly so that these two products does not react on my face so the next product i'm going to be 
reviewing about is Russian brand quality sunblock cream. Then it has this Arabic inscription here. I don't know what this is. Then this one says SPF 90. So that was what attracted me. This is water based. Gavia is oil based oily base this is water based so most of the times when you get it the water separates from the content so you need to shake and you can hear the sound it's actually water based then this is the for a healthier younger look according to them and it's made in thailand now the ingredients in this is aqua that's water mineral oil tretanolamine isopropyl myristate cetyl alcohol vitamin e Glycerin BP, glycerin mons monsterate, steric acid, avobenzone, propyl, propyl paraben, octyl. Oh, let me not bore you with all that. These are the ingredients in it. Then, after cleansing the face, this is the direction. Apply cream with a delicate massage movement until fully absorbed. Okay, for external use only. Now let's try this and see what we're going to get. We're up today for practical. It's not just talking about it. So let's try it. So I'll shake it properly. Then I'll open it from the cover. But let's hope a miracle will happen. So this is not as thick as the other one. So I'll just, so that you'll see how it's dropping. This is water based like I told you. You see, it's watery. So it's watery. So let me just apply for you to see. Mm. So let's see if it will be absorbed like what the manufacturer said that is going to be. And I didn't even take up to the quantity I took from the other one I didn't take up to that quantity so and naturally light came so so why right not blending why are you not blending? Upward movement. Okay. It's not blending. It's not blending. Let's trust the process. Let's trust the process. Let's not give up yet. It's not blending and it's actually dried out. So, more massaging it into my skin might irritate my skin because there's no oil to massage it with dried up like cake mm. let's blend let's blend we're not giving up oh. let's give each product a fair trial so we are blending it. Let's blend it, 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 blend it. Ah, I'm looking like Casper already. Imagine dressing up, fine hair, fine clothes. You leave your your house looking white, looking white. Like you went for a baby naming ceremony. My African sisters know what I'm talking about. Oh, um, this is not given. I like this product. It doesn't have much oil in it, but the only problem I have with it is the white cast. It leaves a white cast on your face. It makes you, when you come out, people will be like, what did she apply? What did she apply? What did she apply? Actually, I applied some blog. How do I start explaining that? So the product doesn't have oil in it and it's very perfect for my acne prone skin because i have an oily face 
but it leaves a white cast. Then Scavia, on the other hand, is an oil-based face um, sunblock. It doesn't leave a white cast, but it leaves me, it makes my face heavy on the oil for the rest of the day. So this is just, they all have what I want, but I can't use any of them. So this is my review on these two products. If you've used any of these products and it's worked like opposite of what I'm saying, please drop a comment. I would like to see your review. Then if you are here to try it, then this is my own review. This one is good, but it leaves a white cast. The other one is good, but has an oil-based, so produce so much oil. So if you have a dry skin, you can go for Gavia. It will be very perfect for you. Then if you have an oily skin like me, let's keep trying. Maybe we'll find the one that will be okay for us. But for now, this two product is a no for me. I got this one first. I loved it. It started giving me white cast. I switched to the other one. I used it. Started making my pimples come out. I'm making my face oily. So for now, I'm still hunting. If, if you find this video very interesting, you, have, you find this content very informative, what you like, please don't be stingy with your subscription. Click that subscribe button, like this video, share so that more people that have similar problems can see it too. And help me blow on YouTube. It's still your girl, Oma, and I'm so grateful to how far we've come. And I'm so grateful to my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and people that are watching my video. Thank you very, very much, and see you on my next video. Bye!